Hey LHS, I'm Iseli Irizarry. And I'm Julian. Youth and Government will have an interest meeting this Wednesday after school in room B107. As of today, everyone is eligible to buy a parking pass. Applications are outside the bank and you will not be permitted to buy a pass without the proper paperwork, including the complete application, proof of license, proof of insurance, and your $20. Now, if you're interested in HOSA, listen up. HOSA signups begin now. Cost for state slash national affiliation is $16 and you must have or had one health science class in order to qualify. The first HOSA event is August 19th, which is senior night at the fair. See Ms. Tomlinson or any HOSA member to sign up. Recently, our very own Coach Gentry was a guest star on WSMV's The Hot Seat with sports newscaster Joe Dubin. Let's take a look and see why LHS football has come so far. Welcome back to the show. Join me now as we take our look at high school football teams across the Mid-State. Lebanon High School football coach Chuck Gentry, who has done a great job of making Lebanon football relevant again. I guess you hate hearing that, don't you? Well, I, I <laughs> hate hearing it because I know where we came from, but I'm proud to hear it to know where that we're moving in the right direction, Joe. I see. We were out there covering games the last two years. You have put a competitive football team on the field. It's getting better and better. I'm a big fan of what you've done so far. And the sky's the limit for this program up there, and you've got to be just tickled with this. I am. I, you know, our community has rallied behind us, our administration, our athletic director, and then I've got a great group of coaches and a great group of players that have bought into what we're selling and what are we kind of say drinking the Kool-Aid? Yeah. It, it's been it's been good, but it's it's been a team effort, and a, we're proud to be the Lebanon Blue Devils. A few weeks down at the camp, everything going like you hope it would be so far? Yes, sir. Everything's going. We've got a lot of work to do, but we have been uh, competitive with everything we've done, whether it's seven on sevens or scrimmages or just with each other. And uh, you know, we have some good days and some bad days, but. Uh, trudging right along towards the season. There was a long stretch, Coach, where Lebanon did not get to the postseason. Now they've been postseason several years. Every year since you've been there, is there a secret for doing this? Well, in just the way I see it is there's no, nothing better than hard work. You roll up your sleeves and there's only one way to do it, and that's work hard. It all starts in the weight room, and uh, that's where we build our team culture, and that's what I think is the best thing we have going is uh, – learning how to fight for each other. When things go bad, just roll up your sleeves and keep working and, and not quit. And we have a little motto with pr pace, pride, attitude, commitment, and effort. If we get those four things every day, we'll be okay. That's excellent. Each coach we've had on this hot seat now in the last couple of weeks have been successful. Always say the reason they're successful is the kids, granted, but the administration behind you, supporting you every step of the way, looks like you've got that at Lebanon. Yes, sir. Our, our principal, Scott Walters, uh, you know, when, when he, he told me out of his, I'm not a football guy. I'm going to leave you alone and let you coach. <laughs> Great news. And, and, and I said, yes, sir. And, and I said, let me know if I do anything that I need to do and, and, or anything I do wrong. And my athletic director, Zach Martin, is a, a football guy. Yeah. He's an he's a assistant basketball coach, but he's a football guy, and he, he helps me daily. When I look at your schedule, open the season at Ga Lebanon at Gallatin just sounds good. It just mm -hmm. sounds old school football that to me, that's got to be the most important game that of any game you've got this year right now, because it's the next one. That's the only game we got <laughs> right now. Uh, but yeah, it was important to renew that rivalry and uh, be fun for our kids to go to the Wave Yard, which is a historic place yeah. in, in, in high school football in Tennessee and renew that rivalry. I think it's great. From Smith County to Lebanon High School, I coach a big fan of yours. I love what you're doing. We'll get out and see a bunch of games this year, but I, I love the helmet. I love what you're doing. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Yeah. All right, Chuck Gentry, head football coach at Lebanon High School. First game in a little less than two weeks against Gallatin. We are so excited football season is back, and our first game is, is this week, the Jamboree. All teams will play a half game, buy your tickets in advance, and all proceeds go to LHS football. We would also like to send a big thank you to Mr. Dubin and WSMV for allowing us to use their footage. Bowling team tryouts are August 13th and 15th, starting at 3.30 at Pro Bowl West. If you show up for the first setback in May and turn in your sports physical, then you will not need another. If you're trying out for the first time, make sure your sports physical is in hand at 3.30 on Tuesday. Attention, boys and girls tennis players. There will be a parent meeting for all players for anyone interested in playing tennis in the spring. The meeting will be at, 440, at 545 tonight. It's trivia time again. If your third block class would like to participate in BDN's trivia game, have your teacher email Miss Nick ASAP. That's all the news we have for you today, LHS. I'm Julian. And I'm Iseli. And, and this, this has, has been news to you from, from the White and Blue. Blue.